A snare bed is an arc or slight dip in the bottom bearing edge of a drum adjacent to the strainer and butt. Although they might vary in width or depth, snare beds are very important on orchestral drums. When the bottom head is seated properly, the snare bed helps create a slight bow or bubble in the head. This allows the cable snares to make full contact with the snare head as they pass over the bearing edge, maximizing sensitivity and response. So here's what you'll need to get started. Your existing drum, a BSP drum recommended but not required, a new snare drum head, we use Remo Diplomat Hazy, a heat gun, leave your hair dryer in the bathroom, and your two favorite drum keys. Steal one from a friend if you have to. And getting started is easy. Orientate the new bottom head wherever you like on the shell, and place the bottom hoop on with the snare gates above the strainer and butt. Reinstall the tension rods and finger tighten until they are snug against the hoop. Now for the fun part. Hold the heat source about three to four inches from the bottom head and make a few wide sweeping passes across each snare bed and then around the entire bearing edge. Using your two drum keys, tighten two rods a half to full turn together, working in a star-shaped tuning pattern. This tightens the head more evenly and consistently through the process. After repeating the process a few times, any wrinkles will disappear and the head will be fully seated. Very important, for your own good, don't hold the heat too close or in one spot for too long as disaster will strike. There's no turning back from that. After fully seating the head, you should be able to notice a slight bow over the snare bed. This is good. You can tune the head to your desired pitch, reinstall snares, and begin tensioning cables to boost your performance. Wasn't that fun? <laughs>